If you've been thinking about buying real estate in downtown Breckenridge, Colorado, you probably have a lot of questions like, should we buy on the east side of town? Should we buy on the west side of town? Are there real estate properties on Main Street that are available to purchase? Well, you might even wonder about, what does ski access look like from those different areas? How far is the walk to the restaurants, the shopping, and the nightlife? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm gonna give you the complete lay of the land of downtown Breckenridge, Colorado. Colorado. What's up everybody? It's Pete Dininger with the Breck Life Group right here in Breckenridge. If this is your first time to the channel and you'd like to know everything there is to know about living in Breckenridge or moving to Breckenridge, everything from hiking, biking, skiing, snowboarding, and even buying real estate in downtown Breckenridge, you've come to the right place. So go ahead, click the subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. We're always rolling out new content to help you become more informed about Breckenridge and Summit County. So lately we've been having a bunch of people calling us with questions about moving to or living in Breckenridge. So if you're thinking of buying a vacation home, investment property, or your primary residence, don't hesitate to reach out. You can call us, text us, or send us an email. We would love to be here to answer your questions and guide you through the process of buying in Breckenridge or around Summit County. Let's get on with our tour. Let's start off with the lay of the land. So downtown Breckenridge is divided in half by Main Street, which runs primarily north to south. So if you're coming to Breckenridge from Denver or Boulder, you're probably heading west, taking I-70, getting off at the Frisco exit, and heading south on Highway 9 to Breckenridge. And that sort of turns into Main Street and divides downtown in half, the west side and the east side. If you're coming from Colorado Springs, you might be coming over Hoosier Pass and coming into Breckenridge from the south side of town. So on in the in the historic downtown corridor, you will find tons of historic buildings which date back to the late 1800s. The town of Breckenridge was founded in 1859 at the height of the gold rush here in Colorado. So unlike so many other ski resorts in Colorado that were really a resort first and everything grew around the ski resort, Breckenridge was an historic town dating back to the late 1800s. And so it's got real character and charm, and that's what makes it so incredibly alluring to visitors and owners in Breckenridge. In the downtown area, you will find loads of historic buildings, which today serve as offices, retail spaces, and fine dining restaurants. There's just tons of character here in the downtown corridor. And if you happen to be here over Halloween, you can even take a guided ghost tour through downtown Breckenridge. The Blue River also runs right through the heart of downtown Breckenridge, just to the west of Main Street. And so we've got this beautiful walking corridor called the River Walk right through the heart of downtown Breckenridge. There is an amazing town of Breckenridge event center called the Riverwalk Center. At the Riverwalk Center, we'll see live concerts, comedy, special events and activities. It is really a great amenity right in the heart of downtown Breckenridge. Well, I know you've got questions about the east side and how that compares to the west side. So let's head on over to the east side of downtown Breckenridge and see what we find there. So the question becomes, do you buy on the east side of town or on the west side of town? And I'm here on the east side and the streets here on the east side of town that run parallel to Main Street are Ridge Street, French Street, Harris, and high. So those streets run the full length of downtown Breckenridge, and they're just a little bit to the east of town. What we'll find here on the east side of town, from a residential standpoint, there are a lot of properties that are owner occupied by Summit County locals. You'll also find a lot of second homeowners, people who come and visit throughout the year, but they don't ever do any renting. And then finally, you'll probably find some people that do short-term vacation rentals, although that is soon to change 
when these properties sell, the east side of town now falls within what we would call the neighborhood zone. And so you're not going to be able to get a license for a little while. There's a waiting list already for the east side or any of those neighborhood zones. The things that you will find here on the east side, I'm standing right in the middle of the arts district, the Breck Create org arts district so we'll find um, photography ceramic studios the live performing arts center breck music is housed here and more and more we're finding people congregating on this east side of town to come and explore this incredible arts district and on ridge street you will find an abundance of amazing restaurants orem twist Hearthstone, Fatties, and more. It's really just an incredible way to get off of Main Street. All There's so much more to see, and it often takes visitors two or three times in town before they explore Ridge Street. Also to the east, you will find Carter Park. Carter Park is the home of loads of adventure. It's a dog park. They've got tennis courts, pickleball courts. There's an incredible pavilion. So if you want to host a family reunion in the summer, you can rent the pavilion and have your event there outdoors. Sometimes there's live music over there. It's really just a great place to gather with friends and family. And it's also, as you climb Carter Park Hill, it leads you, it opens up to miles and miles of hiking and mountain biking trails. So who tends to purchase on the east side of town? It typically are Summit County locals, as I mentioned, but we get a lot of people who purchase here who really want the quiet of being away from Main Street, having short walking access to all the restaurants in downtown. And thankfully, the town of Breckenridge has the Breckenridge Free Ride Shuttle. So the Free Ride Shuttle runs right down Front Street and will pick you up. It can take you to City Market, it'll take you to the Breck Recreation Center or to the slopes for a day of skiing. So you may consider the east side if this sounds like you. But if you're thinking that you absolutely want to do short-term vacation rentals at your home or condo when you're not using it, let's take a look at the west side of town. So I'm now here on the west side of town. I'm right at the base of Peak Nine at the Beaver Run Resort behind me. That means right here we have the Beaver Run Chair and the Quicksilver Super Chair, both located at the base of Peak Nine. What do we typically find at the west side of town? Typically, you'll find a lot of condominium complexes. This is more of a high density area, ski in, ski out access. And so people are drawn to this because of the convenience. If you look behind me, you'll see people swarming around the base of the Beaver Run Super Chair and there are condos in every direction here. So as we work from north to south at the Breckenridge Ski Resort, we'll find a base area around the base of Peak 8, a base area here at Peak 9, and then a little farther down into town around the Columbine area. It's also still base of Peak 9. It's just on the south side of the uh, Quicksilver chair. And so that Columbine area, you will find a lot of condos and townhomes. What a lot of people do when they purchase in those areas, they will come multiple times during the winter and multiple times during the summer for this, the convenient access to the mountain. And then when they're not here, they make their property available as a vacation rental. With the new regulations that both the town of Breckenridge and unincorporated Summit County have implemented, um, these are the areas where they absolutely feel are the most appropriate fit for 
uh, vacation rentals. It's right here at a resort area. And so the licenses in a, in a property like Beaver Run, you can get up to 100% of the available residences here could get a license. In addition to that, in many of the other condominium and townhome complexes around here, um, a, a great many of licenses are still available to get a vacation rental license. So we find that the people who are drawn to the west side of town are those people who know they want to come two or three times in the winter, two or three times in the summer, but they are absolutely looking at this as an investment and they want to bring revenue in when they're not here. So you may be um, you may be drawn to the west side. Now, if you're thinking about how do I get down to uh, the restaurants, almost all of the properties here will have a shuttle that will bring you from the resort area down into town. So um, it's really, really convenient. It's just apples and oranges. Some are drawn to the east side of town. Some are drawn to the west side of town whatever the case may be, you probably still have questions. I've only just scratched the surface about amenities, areas, and ski access. So as you have questions, reach out, give us a call, send a text message, send an email. We are here to help and we'd love to be your guide. We'll look forward to seeing you on the slopes here in Breckenridge soon.